and welcome back. This is Modern PJC here in my Let's Play world. And as you can see, I'm somewhere a little bit different today. And that's mainly because I'm actually preparing my server for some new features and fun, fun things that we're going to be doing. And that's what all this stuff is behind me. But I'm not going to tell you any more about what that is. You're going to have to start watching other videos in the future to see what it is. And you can see I'm in creative mode. But today we're going back to the steampunk castle. And I'm going to stick on screen right now, hopefully, a picture of what we're going to do. This is from the Mojang Minecraft Creative Builds Guidebook, which I got over the Christmas period. And as you can see, this is a steampunk airship. And this has been part of my inspiration for what we're going to be building in this area. So I'm going to hop over there to that world and we're going to get cracking on seeing how far we can get through building this thing. So here I am, I'm over in the steampunk area now but with the castle behind me here. And I've just been looking around trying to decide exactly where I'm going to build this airship. Now the top of the castle behind me up there is going to have uh, the living quarters for the people on the, that live mainly in the castle at the time. And if we scan round behind me, we can see we've got this big gateway which I've been building. And you'll also see where there's a lot of trees that have been taken out from the game. And this I did in my last episode to actually collect a lot of the resources that we've been using. So I didn't want to go through the complete build process doing this because it'd be quite long and tedious and this is going to take quite a lot of time. But um, I'm sort of like building the front of the airship here. So it's a, it's, it's a normal boat. It's going to look like a normal boat but with just this big air balloon above us up here. Sorry, I'm waving around quite a bit. Uh, so this is the main side. So this is 13 blocks long. So we've got one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen probably one of the most exciting pieces of minecraft content you'll see which is someone counting on screen um the other way to do that of course without actually uh worrying about how many numbers you've got is to sort of just cheat and only actually put the right number in your inventory and uh, then I can just sit here and keep putting blocks down and talking to you so I've been down all right I've only fell once so I'm really glad I've got feather falling boots on because I didn't make too much of a mess of myself falling down there all of this wood so far has come from one stack of oak wood which I think was fairly good going. I'm just having a look at the plan in front of me while I'm building here. So this floor that I'm putting in here, it's potentially going to be a lot of this is going to be temporary because primarily um, it's quite difficult to get down below. I mean, obviously I've built this this ladder out, this stepway out here, which I had to pillar up and do some work from to get that looking like a like a like a walkway plank. But um, it's quite difficult building the underside of the ship. Normally you want to start at the bottom, but I wanted to sort of line it up with the front there, first of all. So that I had something to work with, so I knew where it was going to be get lined up to. I suppose there's probably other ways to go about doing that. But this will do for now. And so potentially a lot of this wood will get cut back out once I decide on how the main deck's going to look. And certainly as this is all very one light colour at the moment as well. So it's not exactly the most exciting colour in the world. I can't quite reach that. I thought I'd be able to. There we go. So I'm hoping to get this bit done with you on camera. Let's try not to fall off there again. And then I will... Oh, I might actually run out of wood before I get that far. 
give you an idea of some of the shape. So I guess part of the idea, some of this might be, why steampunk? Well, a lot of the cities I've built so far have been pretty much all very medieval style. And whilst medieval builds are, are quite nice and very sort of Minecraft in, in their sort of shape and structure, it suits the uh, stonework and the swords and those parts of the game. But steampunk's a little bit different and it's also going to be a little bit more difficult to portray because you're normally associating steampunk with cogs and gears and actual steam coming out as well so with regards to steam the way i'm going to get around doing that is literally by using the new features of 1.14 the the game is going to be changing quite a bit in that i'm just going to get these in here i'm just going to build that temporary for now the game is changing such that we'll have things like campfires. And when I saw campfires, it was like, oh, that's absolutely perfect for what I need. Because campfires give off these puffs and floats of smoke, which are going to be great because what they're going to do is they're, they're actually going to allow me to create these columns of smoke coming up which we've not been able to do before. Uh, a normal fire in Minecraft creates no smoke at all. If you look at those fires over there, there's nothing there at all. Whereas by powering parts of this, by having like some pipes maybe sticking out, uh, where steam would be coming out from boilers and engines and all that sort of thing, that allows us to do it. And the reason I like steampunk is just like, Part of the whole idea, the goggles, the uh, the lack of any electricity or circuits that are in the game in, by designing it in this particular way. So I think that's going to look really cool once we get this going. And we're going to have some big cogs and some big gears and machines. And we'll have smoke coming out of buildings, etc. So it'll actually look proper lived in, which I, I really quite enjoy looking. So this is the shape of the steam bunk punk airship so far it's a good decent size this is going to be for transporting cargo around our world well this is the sort of thing it would be useful for obviously there's no water so we've got to have an airship instead so this is the main deck this is the outline of the main deck that we're actually going to have so i've got to work out how the floor is going to go in here and what i will probably do is try and concentrate on the underside of the ship first so i'm going to go and get myself a load of dirt which i've been digging up to create some port supports under there so i can work out where the centers are on the underside of here and put some lines in place and actually start getting some of the underside of the structure in place because there's going to be another floor under here where we're going to carry our cargo um so i'm going to crack on and do that so it's definitely very difficult to get an idea of the the shape of this when you're not when you're up so close to it. And to see what I've done, so I've actually built this lower level. So this is going to be our lower deck in here. You see, got a bit of a cut through here, and I've effectively built one side of the ship. So I'm going to run down here. I've been up and down these stairs like there is no tomorrow. So there you go. There's our outline of the ship we've got so far. It's it's actually quite difficult to see close up. I've had to run over here. I'm going to have to get myself a separate camera account. I can actually come in and have a look at it. So it's got quite an abrupt front to it, which I'm not too worried about. It's It's got... It's quite large around the back there. This is very early. 
I've got a rudder in the back here. I've got a little bit of a an overhang at the back here, which is where the rooms are going to be. There's going to be a bit of a room on the back there. And that's sort of shaped there to be going up to where the deck would be. And then in here, I'm going to put some arches and have some windows in the side to make it look a bit different. I'm not sure whether I like the the spruce on the underside here. I was actually contemplating changing out this wood here for the oak so that we've got some bands. We've got these dark colours here which I can contrast against and then sort of do a, a lighter colour down the bottom half of the boat here. I'm not too sure. I did actually wonder whether I maybe should have got some dark oak wood but this is definitely the same color wood as the other area and that's the only thing i'm concerned about is it sort of blending in with the dirt in the background um but uh, it's a little bit experimental hopefully bring some more detail into it as we go along it's definitely the palette we're using but whether it's the right palette for this, that's the that's the important bit. So I've got huge amounts of work to do. This is going to be a bit of a, I, I don't know, like an, a feature on the front here. I'm trying to break it up. I'm working, for, as I said, from the Mojang creative book. So I'm following their idea. I don't know if it's exactly the same as theirs, but it's sort of bringing the theme in a little bit. Hi, right, so I've come in on my spectator camera here and just going to do a swing around of what the airship looks like so far so as you can see i've now built the balloon on the top which took a little bit of time it just took some time to put some earth down first to get myself up high enough to then putting it in place i actually started with the banding the brown wall and then added the other colors around it afterwards i've also then gone in and put these hanging lamps in place as well and with my texture pack for oak trap doors i've got these solid panels on them are very much like the spruce wood ones in fact they look almost identical to be honest or they are identical um, however, I quite like these uh, in contrast to the sort of square ones with the little holes in. So I've sort of done those up in a little bit. I've built the front of the ship. I've changed the front round a little bit there so that we've got a little bit more shape to it. And because I'm in spec made spectator mode, I can just dive inside the bubble here. And you can see I've lit this up on the inside so we don't get any mobs spawning in here. And I actually really like the look of the inside of this. It looks really quite cool. Uh, so I might actually have to build a little ladder up here. That might be quite useful. And then the inside of our ship, in the back here, we've got a room. And there's uh, my character there, all ready for decking out. And then below decks, as you can see, we have this large area where we'll be able to store all our goods, etc. So that's just a, a little quick look at the final outline of the ship. I think that looks pretty cool. So as you can see, I've made a lot more progress now with the steampunk airship. Mm. And I think it's looking pretty good from down here. I'm going to take a little walk over towards the castle. Uh, you can see I've now completed the balloon section at the top there and I've also put a lot of decoration on the outside here as well uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult to see from close up so let's just hop up the stairs a little bit and see how much we can see from over the edge oh uh, not much there from there at all um yep so on the sides of the airship I've put this studying these are buttons on the side there and there's a flag and we've put some windows in there as well. But really what I should do is just grab some earth and uh, give you a, a look from the outside. Where, where have I got a stack of, uh, let's get a stack of cobble. And we're going to whip back down there and have a look from the other side. 
So it's much easier to see from this position here. So on the sides of the ship, I've put these stone buttons, which just bring out a little bit more features along the side there. These windows have got this uh, sort of, it's not a straight edge, but it's sort of like a bowed arch, sort of curved shape. And I've made it so they don't line up with the windows, they actually go through. This is very similar to what's actually in the book. The other thing is I've added to this as well as our flag, which is for the area. I put these windows in. And something that I thought was quite cool was their use of the jukeboxes. Now, obviously, they've cost me diamonds to make these, but I think it was well worth it. And they just add a bit more texture on the side. And what I've also done is because this is uh, going to be up against the village and pillage in 114, I've actually put some dispensers on the side here which actually look like guns and we've actually got drop down windows over the side there. And then on the back of the ship, I've used iron blocks, which obviously we've got quite a lot with, with some cobblestone just to make these sort of like flared, uh, I don't know what they're like, go faster stripes, I guess, or flames on the back. And then with the balloon, obviously we showed part of the progress and that's now finished off there. That's looking fantastic by comparison. One of the things I've also done on the ground down here, because this is a bit of a, a landing spot, obviously for our airships that would be coming in from the distance. Let's just tidy up these stones here. So they would come in from over here off in the distance. So I've put down these redstone lamps on the ground and these light up, a, or obviously a light at a night, so we can actually, this, the ship can see its way in. And you can also see on the back there, I've put a propeller on the back of the balloon. That's just made out of uh, fence posts and a couple more guns on the back there. So I'm going to run back up. I've just noticed on the underside here that it's not even. Look at that. I missed a bit completely. I need to go back and finish that. Uh, so I'm going to run back up the stairs and we'll have a tour from the inside. So another little feature I added just while I was up here on this platform with these redstone lamps with some switches on the back which allow for a bit of navigation when the ship's coming in to land. So we first of all walk along our plank here and normally these would be out like that to be that position when the uh, it be flying so to speak but when we come in we can sort of like put these out and then we've got somewhere to be able to walk on board not the easiest of access but it's not too bad the lamps I already showed you I put some I uh, hidden some lamps as well so our gun is made of two dispensers there's actually nothing inside it and I've used these powered rails over the top which I think look pretty cool and uh, it does actually fire the dispenser when you do that but I don't know whether it powers that one or not does it let's, let's experiment can I click on that let's put a let's put a firework in it let's see what happens should we have some fun Wee! oh look at that oh that's cool it fires a rocket oh that's cool oh, I didn't know I could do that I'm gonna put a couple in there right we Oh, I'm going to have to make some fireworks now to put in this. That's going to look pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I've only got a button on the back that will activate that as well. Yep, so we've got ones on either side there. That'll look really good fun. We'll be able to have some fun with that. But the key thing is on the inside here, you can see a proper decorated out in here. So we've got a jukebox for a bit of music. And you see this is pretty steampunk, casual, laid back. We've got these little tables and some sofas, not what you'd be expecting on a normal ship. And then we can hop up the top here to the uh, captain's area where we'd be steering the ship from. So we just put a fence post. Um, well, that's not a fence post, is it? That's a gate on here. So it looks like we're uh, flying the ship from here. Look at that. I'm in charge. Salute. And then we've got some little bit of uh, nice bits. I think the propeller looks awesome up the back there. And then we're just going to run downstairs and I'll show you the, the galley. Uh, so down here, 
I've put benches in along the side here. Again, using the green top tables, bit of a lounge area, bit of a buffet area. And the floor, I, I saw this in the book as well. This wasn't, unfortunately, not my idea. I've copied this, but I think this looks awesome. This is using pistons to decorate the floor where you get these zigzaggy line wooden patterns on the floor and that looks fantastic and then I went a little bit over the top and added some around the side here because they look fancy and then I put glowstone in here and I got some uh what do you call this wood a char a cha cha wood cha cha wood uh to go over the lamps to make it look a bit more fancy and up this end we have the the cooker, the ovens here. We have, I don't know what that is. It's just like a big fire. And um, some more furnaces. We've got these fridges in place and we've got our banners out and about and everything. And there's all natural lighting from in here. So I think that looks awesome, this does. I really like this build. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to set the time to night. And let's set it to midnight and then we can check out what it's like and it's getting darker is it getting dark out there did I just completely mess that up I think it did there we go it's definitely dark outside now look at that and you can see the glow of the village off there in the distance so as you can see in here nicely lit no problems there's, I noticed over there, there's a little tunnel with some torches around it. I think that's Halo Phoenix has been doing that. I'm not sure. So let's pop up the top of the ship and have a look at this, because this looks awesome in the dark. Ah! Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, this looks nice from down here. <laughs> oh, complete goof. So there you go. There's our ship at night. And just take a picture of that. That looks absolutely awesome, I think. And I think anyone building this would be well pleased. This has taken me about five hours, I reckon, to build in total. And that's without collecting all the materials beforehand. So it looks really, really cool. So let's run back up here and have a quick look from this angle. There we go. It's nicely lit up. I think this is an awesome little ship and I'm definitely going to be experimenting around with the um, the fireworks and seeing what they look like when they're going off. So I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. I, this has definitely been one of the biggest builds I think I've done. As I say, it took me over five hours to do. Please leave a like if you really like what I've actually been building and please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell button so that YouTube tells you when new videos come up. Uh, thanks very much and I hope to see you in my next episode. Bye.